This is the second video in my series on three-phase power transformers. In this video, we'll be looking at three-phase transformer clock system vector nomenclature. This is an excerpt from my course entitled Electrical Three-Phase Power Transformer Fundamentals. You can access this and my other courses on my stand store at this web address. The main purpose of power transformers in a system is to change voltage levels. That is to convert the magnitude of the voltage either up or down depending on the requirements. For example, distribution utilities may want to take the high voltage transmission levels of 500, 230, 115 kV to voltage levels say 25 kV for ease of retail sale to customers. Or an independent power producer may want to step the generation voltage up to the uh, level for the, that could be connected to the transmission utility. If we were dealing with a single phase quantity, the choice of connections would be, simple, would be a simple matter of using the correct turns ratio. However, when dealing with three phase quantities, which are the ideal for economical transmission and distribution, not only the turns ratio has to be taken into consideration, but also the variety and permeability of connections. That is why transformer clock system vector nomenclature was developed. With every power transformer installation, we will have a primary system connected to the primary side of the transformer and a secondary system connected to the secondary side of the transformer. For simplicity's sake, we can assume that the primary side is energized by a three-phase balanced set of voltages rotating counterclockwise and having a phasor separation of 120 degrees. Depending on the transformer connections, the secondary voltages can either be rotating in a clockwise or a counterclockwise direction. Assuming, however, that we are still dealing with a balanced system, the secondary voltages are equal in magnitude and 120 degrees apart, but may lead or lag the associated primary voltages. But in all systems, it is desired to have both primary and secondary systems rotating in the same direction, and that as a standard is usually counterclockwise. This of course goes for the phase to phase voltages as well, specifically when we're dealing with a delta-delta connection. Take, for example, a star-star or a YY connected transformer. We have already looked at this connection and it is fairly straightforward. However, if we reverse the connections of each of the secondary windings, it would still be YY connected, but certainly the secondary phasers would have to be different. as is the case for a delta-delta connected transformer. Again, we have already looked at this connection and it too seems fairly straightforward. However, once again, if we reverse the connections of each secondary winding, it would still be delta-delta connected, but certainly the secondary phasers would have, a, have to be different. Another example, would be the star delta connected transformer, which we also have studied. We could have just as easily used the secondary windings connections that you see here now, and it would still be a star delta transformer. So how do we simply convey the configuration along with the connections? The answer is, Transformer Clock System Vector Nomenclature. As its name suggests, we use the clock face as a reference for relating the secondary voltage to the primary voltage. The digits 
0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., relate to the phase displacement between the high voltage and the low voltage windings using the clock phase notation. The phaser representing the high voltage winding is taken as a reference and set at 12 o'clock. It is assumed that the phasers are rotating in a counterclockwise rotation. We use the hour indicator as the indicating phase displacement angle low voltage lags the high voltage by 30 degrees in this instance. Because there are 12 hours on the clock and a circle consists of 360 degrees, each hour represents 30 degrees. For example, 2 o'clock is 60 degrees, 3 o'clock is 90 degrees, 4 o'clock is 120, 5 is 150, 6 o'clock is 180, 7 is 210, 8 o'clock is 240, 9 o'clock is 270, 10 is 300, 11 is 330, and 360 puts us back at the 12 o'clock position. This can also be referenced as zero degrees, so it could be zero. This may seem a little confusing at first. However, in my next video, I'll demonstrate the process with a few examples which will illustrate the process and make it look a lot simpler. This video is part of my Electrical Technical Information series. In this series, I'll be covering essential topics to help you understand electrical systems. Be sure and stay tuned, as I will also, from time to time, be reviewing electrical products that, in my opinion, are worthy of paying attention to. One of those amazing and versatile products is the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, which can be modified to suit any homeowner's needs, operating virtually silent, and when paired with the EcoFlow Smart Home Panel 2 is extremely versatile. The EcoFlow Home Panel 2 ties any and all of your standby power equipment together and will control them efficiently. It will even control your connection to the utility grid to make sure you're only using the least expensive power, switching to your standby power during those expensive time of use rates. In order to view the full range of EcoFlow products, check into this website to browse the full extent of their products. There is no cost or commitment for viewing. Before ending this video, let me repeat the connection to obtain my free copy of the Ultimate Guide to Residential Standby Generators and receive access to all of EcoFlow products. Also, here is the connection to obtain a free copy of my 50-page electrical power crib sheets. And finally, here is a link to all of my electrical courses which are located in my stand store.